Welcome back to my channel. If you haven't forgot to like, comment, and subscribe, especially subscribe, please do so. I love all the new followers and I love the followers I already have. And it looks like my followers are continuing to grow. So, once again, I do love the the support that a lot of people have been giving me. Especially with my DMs and stuff like that. I really appreciate everybody. But today, I'm going to talk about baddies. Baddies ease. So, um, supposedly, the CEO of that created Zeus Network and baddies ease. Or just baddies in general. Um, supposedly he's sleeping with a lot of the girls. Supposedly he's sleeping with a lot of the girls. And I'm not, I'm not surprised. Like, I'm definitely not surprised. I don't know how to pronounce his, his first name. I think it's like Lume, Lumi, something like that. But he's the CEO of Baddies. And he's sleeping with a lot of the girls. Stunner Girl went on live and, um... Sent photos, photos of text messages between Scotty saying some of the girls got chlamydia, um, that these girls are sleeping with um, the CEO. And I'm like, for y'all to be sleeping with the CEO, because I know he's bringing a very large bag in. Y'all not driving the little fancy cars. And I want to say I seen Scotty's live the other day. And your apartment looks regular decked. If I was personally sleeping with somebody's CEO, and I believe he does have a girlfriend. I don't know if that's his wife, but I know he is dating someone. Um, baby, I would have ran up that bag. You know what I mean? I would have ran up that bag, ran up everything that I could off this, off this man because you don't know how long it's going to last, to be honest. You don't know how long it's going to last. Sorry, guys. I was just eating... Um, New York Grill in St. Louis, and that's why I have this out. But um, I I would have ran up the bag. I would run up the bag and juice this man for whatever he can, because he's a multimillionaire. Like this man has a gorgeous home, gorgeous cars, and girl, you're just getting a purse at this man, and you're just paying your car note. Like girl, please. I would have been driving around with a G wagon. I would have been driving around a Ferrari. I would have been in some things like some some type of coupe. I would have been in somebody's coupe, driving around in Hollywood. And another thing that really bothered me about Baddies Ease, I was watching when they were in Jamaica. Um, they're Jamaica, and they're still okay. I know Smiley isn't the most innocent one. I know she's not the most innocent one, but I just feel like y'all keep targeting this girl. Y'all keep targeting this girl and bullying. And then E.T. to pour water on this girl, like... E.T. is so disrespectful. I, I, I definitely give her props for being, like, the fighter. However, like, she's just a bully. E.T. reminds me of a bully in high school that would, like... It just reminds me of a, a bully in high school. For that, she loses a lot of the cool points. She's not an ugly girl. It is actually a very cute girl. But it's just though how she moves and maneuvers. She reminds me of a snake. And I don't really care for snakes. But she was pouring water on Smiley. And Smiley, why didn't you like... Baby, I wish somebody would pour water on me. I wish somebody would pour water on me. Like, um... I was with somebody. I have poured some water on somebody before. So when I was living in Houston, Texas, I got into this guy at this restaurant, and it was me, my friend, and I want to say it, it was his boyfriend. No, it wasn't his boyfriend. It was me, my friend, and it was somebody else. I don't remember who it was, but I got into a verbal altercation with somebody, and before we left, I had my glass of water. And I poured it on this gentleman and it was like, you look thirsty. And baby, he did exactly what I thought he was going to do. He got up and tried to pop me. He got he got up and tried to pop me. And we actually started like fighting in the restaurant. Took it outside and was fighting out the, outside the restaurant. And then they was calling like, threatened to call the police. So we took off running. But... That's the reaction that I was looking for out of Smiley. Girl, if somebody's going to be pouring water on you, girl, you better slap somebody. If not, you better be cool with somebody for, for them to slap somebody. Because, girl, you're going out like, like a little punk. 
you're going out like a little punk. And it's just showing, like, girl, like, you know what you're assigning yourself for when it comes to baddies. Everybody knows that sooner or later, you're going to be the target. Somebody has to be the target. Somebody has to be the target. And it looks like this season, you're the primary target, but you're not the most innocent one either because you would say certain stuff or do certain things, like, irk somebody's nerves, and like to poke, 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 poke. What is that saying? If you poke the bird so many times, the, the, the bird's going to react. And I just feel like you just kept poking, poking, poking at several people and saying stuff under the slide, under the cool. And you just don't, you, like, people ain't going to listen or people are not going to hear what's going on. Girl, so I don't feel bad that you have landed yourself in certain situations. However, defend yourself. When somebody pours water on you, if somebody... I was growing up, and they always said, if somebody pushes you, that means they hit you. Slap them back. If somebody pours water on you, you fight them. Like, girl, don't be no little punk. Like... Don't, and then you, you're supposed to be representing the Latin community. Girl, come on now. We don't get down like that. We do not get down like that. Girl, if, if somebody wants to pour water on me, I don't care if you sneeze on me on accident in the middle of an argument. Girl, I'm popping you. Girl, I'm popping you. I really don't care. Like, So that threw me off. And then when it came down to um, Sukiani, uh, I said Sukiani, Sukiana, Sukiana and uh, Roly arguing and stuff. I just forgot what they were arguing about. But they was arguing, and that's a big girl. Like, Roly is not the fastest. However, she could definitely put her weight on somebody. And for her and Suki to go at it, and that is, Suki did exactly what big girls usually do. They bum rush somebody and put all their weight on somebody. And that's usually how they probably get an up one on somebody is by putting their weight. Because, girl, it's like, Sukiana is so small. Even though she's a little stocky in the waist or whatever, she's a little thick. Um, probably is like a bull, uh, uh, um, a bulldog. Like, what is those um, tractors called? I can't really think of the name. However, that's a big girl. That's like a um a boulder coming at you, real high to hot high, high ready. No ma'am. So they I you know what I mean? So they got a little tip tap, et cetera, et cetera. But my thing was with Sukiana's best friend. And that's another thing that I have an issue with. So Sukiana's best friend was sitting there. Why, knowing these these girls don't like Sukiana, you can clearly see the girls on the opposite table don't like Sukiana, and girl, you're just gonna let like, just sit there and have them arguing, baby. I wish my best friend would be arguing with the one girl and this a, a few girls behind her. Girl, we are popping off. I'm going to swing first, and we're just gonna have to get this dumping. Cause at this point, girl, I'm not gonna let you just argue by yourself. And then they're gonna pour ET pour the water on uh, Sukiana, Sukiana, and girl, you're just gonna just stand there. You're just gonna stand there. That happened to um, one of my friends. We had we happened to go out to a club or to a bar. I'm sorry, we happened to go to a bar. Um, and these people was like throwing ice at my my um friend and his ex boyfriend at the time was throwing eyes and like bullying us and I barely knew my friend. You know what I mean? Like I mean now I know him like ten plus years. But I when I first met him and they tried to jump him. You thought I was gonna let that go down? No sir. So I, I feel like that's that's when I really got his respect. Um because cause, baby, we all came together and we're all leaving together. one fight we all fight. There ain't no punk over there. Baby, I'm Texas man. There ain't no punk over there. So, what Sukiana's best friend Sapphire did was, was what? Was weak. Girl, you see your, your, your best friend, your sister of so plus years getting, getting like bum rushed. And then on top of that, water poured all up on her face. And one thing about easy. It's she got a good, a good target. Like, she has good aim. She has really good aim. And every time she lands something, she doesn't miss. So, that's another thing that I was really irked about. And then, 
Bobby is always in like some female stuff. Like, girl, I understand you a punk. I understand you love punk and you're part of the LGBT community. But these are actually friends and girl girls arguing. Get out their business. I get it, you trying to be messy for the camera and stuff like that, but you're just adding fuel to a fire that doesn't need to be there. Sukiana's already mad. Sukiana's already upset at her friend for not to come to her defense, which she has every right to. But for you to just throw your little salt in, that's like, what you did is not helping the situation. And not helping the situation. So Sukiana has every right to feel the way she does as far as not really liking what her friend did and her friend not sticking up for her or at least push somebody. Girl, I, I would I would have been I would have settled for that. Push somebody. Girl, blow a kiss a sign. Girl, you didn't do nothing but trying to hold me back. And one thing one thing about people fighting and you know this about people fighting. When they're hot and hot and ready to go, girl don't touch me. Why are you touching me? Why? Why are you touching me? That's going to really piss me off even more that you're touching me. Why? Girl, don't touch me. Touch them. So I definitely understand why. Once again, I definitely understand why she was upset. She's there for right to be mad at her friend. Um, and then, what's her name got into it? Scotty and Natalie. were so-called best friends. I don't know if they're still best friends now. But they, I've always seen them together. Out to eat together. Yada, yada. Baby, Scotty got toe up in that room, that bathroom. But I do see why. It's because Natalie does have rings on her fingers and wedding rings and so forth and so forth. So, yeah, you do have an upper one when, you have, when you're fighting with rings. But, Scotty, you need to go back to the drawing board when it comes to fighting Ben Spamas. Because I had to say this, girl. You ain't got no hands. You ain't never had no hands. You might have got, probably got into little tip towels and it was like broken up in 30 seconds. But this fight that you had with Natalie, baby, it happened so fast. And them producers and security, they couldn't get there fast enough. You got your butt whooped. And this is crazy. So the reunion is supposed to be coming out and they just um, they just filmed us. So everybody's excited about that. Can't wait to see that. Um, supposedly, Sapphire gets dropped. Even though Sukiyana says... Sapphire won the fight between E T at the reunion. Jonathan went online and said, uh, Sapphire got beat up. And who else got beat up? It was somebody else got beat up. Um, E. T. did get dropped by Takeshi Takeshi Takeshi. Whatever Krishan's sister's name is. So that's gonna be very interesting. I definitely wanna see what these um I definitely want to see what these edits are going to look like. You know they're going to make an extra drama, extra film. So, um, I definitely want to see that. Um, and speaking of baddies once again, so there was a rumor or a screenshot saying that Natalie, uh, that Natalie got into it with Gypsy. Because I supposedly Zeus Network um, inviting Gypsy to the reunion, to host a reunion with them. And I believe she declined the offer or whatever. So there was like photos going around of Natalie and Nun. Gypsy getting into it like on social media. Natalie Nun says that is not true. That's false. That's like fake, fake photos. Um, and that's like she might be on the next season of um, Baddies. Which now that would be interesting. I know there's supposed to have, they have to go through attorneys. And her legal team. It's because I don't know how long. Um, I don't know how long Gypsy is going to be on parole. Or probation. So she might have limited things that she can do or can say. She probably can't get physical. So if she was to get on that show. It would have to be way after. It would be way after she uh, gets done with her parole. Because... She can't be going out there fighting. And girl, you just you just killed your mama seven years ago. Girl, like, we don't need you reenacting no type of scenes. We don't need you acting no type of scenes out to anybody. We just need to keep you where you at. And just do the book talk. 
just for the book tour because Big Mamas, Miss Gypsy still got a little anger in her, okay? Miss Gypsy still got a little anger in her, and I definitely can see her wilding out on somebody. Girl, hot the knives, hot the forks, hot the spoons, because Miss Gypsy's on the scene. Girl, but that would be funny, though. If Gypsy was on Zeus Network Baddies, that would be so funny, and that would be so cunty, because it's Gypsy. Like, she just did a seven year, eight, seven or eight year bid from helping murder her mama. And she's out. She's out uh, living her best life, like she says. And she's on a high right now. And you can't take her down. And the D is good. Mm, and her words, no bars. That part. So, um, yeah, I'm really, I'm really excited about what this reunion is going to be about. I'm not too sure exactly when it comes out, but it should be coming out pretty soon. I'm really excited to see that. Um, I've never really been into the whole baddies thing because it's past couple of seasons. I know I did watch some of the ones when Tommy was, because I love Tommy. I'm a supporter of Tommy. And I, I think she did a big one while she was on there. Um... But Sky, I, 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 Sky, what's the reason? Was Sky doing that? Like, um, what's the reason? Because she didn't fight down one time, and she said she was only there because Tommy was on the last season, and she wanted to like. She said that she would only like get into where they would have brought up Tommy's name, which nobody brought up Tommy's name. I feel like if Stunned Girl was there, she probably would have had a Tommy's name on her mouth, but. Tommy didn't come up not one time. Um, Sky, girl, you was just there for what? Like, just to turn... It looked like you were just there just to turn up. Which, I'm not even mad at that. Let the kids fight. Let the kids fight. Let the kids go outside in the backyard and go fight. Baby, I couldn't do a show like that. Like, I thought about... I thought about, like, uh, applying for, like, some of these shows. Like, now... That's, that's now TV or whatever, Zodiac House. And I was thinking about applying for them type of shows, but my fighting days are over. I'm getting to the edge. It was like, girl, I don't fight. I just press charges. So, <laughs> I don't. Unless I'm being like, for, uh, unless I'm being attacked physically. Girl, you can cuss me out all you want. You can call me names all you want, girl. Like, what is the saying called? Um, sticks and stones can break my bones, but words will never hurt me. Girl, you can you can call me whatever you want. Girl, it's not you're not gonna get underneath my skin. You're not gonna hurt my feelings. Like get over it, girl. Get over it, Miss Mamas. But yeah, I thought about uh applying for one of these shows. And it's I don't think it's for me, to be honest. Like I'll probably be the girl like I want I would even know if I would be instigating. Because, like, why would I be going to show with the random people that I don't know and they don't know me? And we're just fighting. Fighting for what? A check? I understand this is, like, I'm not fighting. The more of the story is stand up for yourself, smiling. Stand up for yourself, smiling. And stop having these girls make you look like a weak girl. Like, cause all seasons, I just feel like... You was the weakest thing, and that's why I feel like they were picking on you and coming at you because you just you just seemed like you were the weakest link. And then to Sapphire, girls, help your friend. I don't care if it was. I I, I honestly don't care if it was. Cause Rosa is like three people. She now that's a big girl. That's like three people. Girl, and if you seen if you seen Et pouring that water in your sister's face, smack the girl. Like, you was close enough to smack her. Baby, we would have been twirling. So the story, the moral of the day is help your friends in sticky situation. I don't care if you have to jump the girl or not. Girls, stick up for your friend. Because at the end of the day, we're sisters and we're best friends. Girl, stick up for me and stop playing with me. Because if not, we're going to be fighting once we're done. So, that's all I have. And uh, don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. And see you guys next time.